and we want you to have it if you want one. If you haven't gotten one and you want one, just raise your hand and I'm will bring it. Thank you.
absent today and being healed by the Lord, our secretary is Deaconess Anna Thomas, and you know her here is Nisi. Our chaplain of Deaconess Ministry is Deaconess Zelda Johnson. Our Deaconess Loretta Little. Deaconess Orlean Johnson. And to God be the glory, and we're grateful to have her with us today. That serves in our prayer willingly, wholeheartedly. Deacon Ms. Doris Thomas. We do thank and praise God, Deacon Ms. Doris, for watching God keep you lifted and strengthened just because of who He is, but not only because it's your His child. To God be the glory. At this time, if anyone, usually we do a moment of silence, but if anyone that has served in the capacity of deacon, deaconess, or trustee, and they have gone on to be with the Lord, and that journey is complete, we ask that you would stand and represent them, everyone stand, and I want you to just call out that individual's name and sister in that play something quietly for us as we represent our moment of silence. Call out your loved one name if they have ran the race.
myself and the security team, Mike Key, and uh, Brother Hurt, Deacon Hurt, and we see you yeah. on the campus. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We see you. was supposed to be the guest today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what we see is after storms, this young man right here walking in the cemetery, making sure trees are all pure. Tombstone. Yeah. 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 This young man right here makes sure that And I asked him, I said, would you want to be a trustee? And his answer was to me was this. I don't need no title of service. We want to say we love you and we thank you. Amen. Thank you. 
started, but, but you're going to be on standby. <laughs> he and you. And you, and you can't learn me much in you. <laughs> God bless you.
today, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the day, oh God. Today is your service, oh God, this day, just to acknowledge them, oh God. I want to ask you just to fulfill them, oh God, that your deed and your trust is, oh God. They serve you because of how they feel, oh God. But then when they give to this oh God. Now I ask a special person over this offering, oh God, for the improvement of your kingdom, oh God. Just to sit there and take this as a token of your appreciation for what you do for us, oh God. You never leave us, Lord, to save us, Lord God. So I ask you, and I plead, Lord God, just to keep us in your arms, Lord God. I ask this all in Jesus' name. Brandon and Brian, his lovely wife, of course, 
his little grandson, August, uh, and his two granddaughters. We ask him right now that you would open up your hearts and that you would receive him as he is, stands in uh, the shoes of John. So we thank you, uh, the Lord, for uh, allowing us for this and, and just know that while he preaches, we have to be mindful that as good as God has been to us, we can't afford not to praise him. As good as God has been to us, we got to give him the highest praise. So we said the highest praise is hallelujah. So we say hallelujah to you.
for it might have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor, and then criticized her sharply. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good work for me. For you have the poor with you always, and whatever you wish, you may do them good. But me, you do not have always. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Assuredly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as an immortal to her. Amen. Amen. Today, I want to speak to you for just a little while because we're talking about digging, digging as I trust you for all servants of the Most High God. I want you to know the work I've done. Speak for me. May the work that I've done speak for me. Father God, I stretch my hands and give you the things of the earth that I know. And if you will draw yourself from me, I don't know where it is, but I will go. So I need you to come by now and just take this old wretched vessel that I am. Feel me right now, Lord. That I may be used totally by me. That as the congregation gains this way, that they don't see me, but they see the Christ on the inside of me. The Christ that lives in this the Christ that works. Through me, God, I ask them that you would fill me right now. Speak to me that I hear, oh God, that I may give the words you give me to these people on this day. For we know, Lord, that the grass grows and the flower fades away. But your word, oh God, is here forever saying. That's right. So we thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May the work that I've done. For me, we are living in a day and a time where it seems like everyone wants to be notarized, to be to be mobilized, to be act, to get the accolades um, for everything they do. Always wanting people to applaud them and praise them and pat them on their back for every. Thing or every deed that they do. And it seems as if it does not happen, nobody recognizes you for what you're doing with that attitude. We get upset. Did they not see me get out early this morning and go help sister so and so? Did they not see me come to church early this morning and get the church bed for serving on today. Folk who want to be have no right for everything that they do are folk who are really not doing it because God has called them to do it. I've come to understand that I can't get credit for everything that I do. If I get credit, that's good, that's fine, doctor. But if I don't get credit, I can't get upset about it. Because of my service unto God and not to man. I'm helping man, but I'm serving God. Hear me now. And so many times we can just think twisted that, that we think because God has called us to, to do a work, or we're doing a work for the Lord, that everybody's supposed to be happy, everybody's supposed to be applauded. Good job. I'm going to tell you that working for the master, that does not always happen. But here it is, right here. if you are working, if you're willing to receive your award down here, then your work is already in vain. Because I don't know anybody else, but I'm working to receive a reward that's not prepared by the hands of the man. I'm working to make heaven my goal and work trying to get to where to the place where God has ultimately prepared for me. And if I labor down here, yes. if I serve God down here and if I serve God's people down here, then my living won't be in vain. See, 
season four. So many people live a life of vanity. Yeah. They, want, they want it all right now. They want, they want you to, 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 to pet, to pet. They want, they want you to clap your hands for them now. Yeah. Mm. But I'm glad that working for the master, yeah. I will receive my reward in the end. And some of them, why he chooses this text on things? Because that is the woman in this text yes. that I want to talk about today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This woman. Yeah. This woman, this woman who, 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 who describes the Pharisees and even some of the folk who were following Jesus thought this woman was nothing or nobody. And the only thing that the enemy has is he 
what God has called us to be. Servants of the most, most high God. And remember that only what you do for Christ will last. If you're doing it for any other reason than doing it to glorify God. You want somebody to be like us? Good job. You got some reward right there. That's it. This woman, this woman who came in and she had this alabaster. This fact she had in a costly oil. And as she poured it on over the head of Jesus, where God says that some of them were indignant among themselves. You know how we get when we see somebody doing a good work for the Lord, and instead of us praising them, encouraging them, we have our little meetings. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I must be telling the truth. Every church. Pass those little group meetings. Every church has those little group meetings. Well, Deacon Smith, um, I know he got up and he prayed. What kind of prayer was that? <laughs>
that you've been called by God, then you always have to continue to keep on trying to improve yourself right. to other people. You know what I'm saying? Because even when I was called into the ministry, when I did my initial sermon, my pastor who allowed me to do this sermon did not even bring my license to the sermon. Lord help. Lord help. Mm. And he told me he didn't bring it because he wanted to be sure that God had called me to what I said. But after the, after the service, after he saw God step in, then he had to bow. Not in me, but to God. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And so, and I, 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 and from that point on, I said, I always got to be proving myself. But, but then I said, wait a minute, hold up. I don't have to prove myself to nobody. Because I don't know what you do for Christ. It's going to last. My God, my God. My God. That don't just go for the big and the big and the trusted. That go up here. That go out there. That's everywhere. Because when you're working for the Lord, folk will come at you. The Lord said, understand. I want you to understand something. It's not necessarily the people. It's not necessarily the person. You see that's coming at you. It's the person that you cannot see. It's that it's that entity that's working through those people. So 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 we get mad at people, but it ain't really people. It's that spirit that's working through those people. See, there is a demonic spirit. Yes. 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 That works. Yes. The Bible says we rush not against yes. the flesh of the brother. Yes. So, then who I see that will be able to rush against the will of my enemy. Yes. 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 Any child that's working for the master, anybody that's working for God, Jehovah, anybody that's working for him, yes. the great I am. Like Jesus. 
when folk are working for the mouth, you got to be bold to stand up and then and call them and say, listen, leave them alone. They are doing a mighty work for the Lord. Leave them alone. And matter of fact, if you don't like the way they're doing it, why don't you try to do it? Most of the time, folk criticize you because they're just because what you're doing, they want to do, but they cannot do it. Why? Because God has not given them power or the authority to do it. Yes, sir. We need to understand something here. I'm, 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 I know I'm here. I said I'm going to do it. We need to understand something here. Don't give yourself. That when God calls us, and two ministries. Whatever field is, whether it's dignity, trustee, healthcare, whatever ministry we be in, but God calls you to a ministry. Understand that God has already equipped you, that God has given you authority Amen. to do something else. Mm-hmm. And so you got to learn to walk in your authority and operate in the authority that God has given you. So understand, man did not give you the authority. God gave it to you. Man will do everything in his power to keep you from reaching your goal or your destiny. But God has given you the authority to overcome obstacles, people, whatever the devil throws in your way. God has given you the authority to overcome it. And the power to speak to some things. Word of God says what? Speak to those things that are as if they are not. Yeah. And those things that are not as if they are. Yeah. So you got to speak some good things over your life. Yeah. Don't let folks talk to you in any kind of way. Yeah. 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 Don't let folks treat you like you were nothing or nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, folks, you tell me, I am somebody. It gets hard and it gets difficult. But you've got to learn to keep trusting in Jesus. Sometimes, I know Reverend Josh can attest to the fact that sometimes on the journey, it gets hard. Sometimes clouds get real heavy. Burning start to push you down. Folks start to say nasty and evil things about you. But you got to keep on trusting in the Lord. And I know sometimes the clouds might have no you here. But keep on trusting in God. Because all of your witnesses are way of anything. Am I right, Bob? I've had some good days. I've had some years to climb. I've had some weary days. Yeah, some sleepless nights. But when I
some burden that you just need to get off your shoulders. God says, come to me and be restored. Is there anyone in the house that just needs restoration? Is there one?
Yes, we leave also. I want you to remind you all and encourage you all to also pray for the peace of Israel. Yes. 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 Uh, we know the time is winding up. Yes. 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 Jesus talking about you. We will see these things come to pass. We are living in the last days. It's time not only to get out, we got to get our own hearts in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.